Right, guys. So I was I was talking about the VRAM on my Steam Deck. It's actually four thousand and ninety six megabytes. So that's four gigabyte of VRAM. Uh, let's see if I can go into the. I don't know if this will actually show the thingy. Oh yeah, there you go. The driver. The date for the driver. The date for the driver is twenty seven zero to twenty twenty three. So that's the the driver date. And the VRAM that I'm using on this one, the VRAM that I'm using on this one is 4096, 4096. So that's four gigs of VRAM I'm using on the Steam Deck. And yes, you can all tell that this is clearly Windows. Uh, this is clearly, yes, I can jump into big picture mode and all of that, but big picture mode, I don't like it on Windows. Uh, why I don't like it on Windows? Because because i think it's it's not suitable especially on the steam deck i just i just use the normal i use the normal steam you know i i don't have an issue with the big picture mode you can you can jump into that big picture mode it's this one but i don't like using it it's just my personal preference i don't like using um that uh big picture mode on steam deck polygon works on steam operating system war robots works on steam operating system a combat masters works on steam operating system um you know all that stuff works uh you know what i've not jumped into war robots since uh let me see what i'm running here uh you know i've got this utility gonna set that to maximum so that's set to the maximum thingy need to reduce the volume because this is gonna make quite a lot of noise it's it's only because i'm connected to an external speaker so if it was just the Steam Deck, I mean, there wouldn't be an issue. So let's see if I can just jump into a game here. Um, why am I showing you guys all of this stuff? Well, basically, uh, the black Steam Deck doesn't have an operating system at the moment. So as it doesn't have an operating system at the moment, I cannot show you guys anything to do with Steam at the moment. Steam, I have, I'm waiting for some stuff to arrive from... Um, I'm waiting for some stuff to arrive from uh what you call this thing um i'm waiting for some stuff to arrive from ebay and amazon uh one of the things i'm waiting for is a um a lot of stuff man <laughs> a cases uh s pen for my z fold 4 um uh screen protectors for the steam black steam deck and a case for the black steam deck uh a case for my z fold uh phone man there's so much stuff why, why i wish there had a skip all button on this i just i don't i don't see why it's always like this okay let's jump into this thingy first no i haven't i haven't been playing war robots uh for quite a while so you know this is like a recap i've i've been really busy on nintendo switch i know you're probably thinking you've got lots of devices well i've accumulated the devices so this is not like i went into a store and just bought everything no i had to save money and then after you save money then you buy stuff you understand you cannot just have everything so everything you see in front of me i had to save money acquire it over a period of time and then once i had acquired everything then you know obviously now it's a build-up isn't it so when you see everything in front of me it's like wow you've got a lot of you've got two steam decks you got a nintendo switch Lite and a nintendo oled well the oled i always wanted the oled and um it it did take a uh, a few a few months of saving money to actually buy the oled because OLED was just like $200. Uh, it came with a dock, did not come with a charger. Fortunately, I, I told the guy, I said, listen, I don't mind that it doesn't have a charger because I've got a lot of cables at home and I actually have a switch light. And the switch light that I have, I actually bought from them. 
So the guy was like, okay, okay, if, if you're sure that you're not going to have an issue with it, then, you know, you can buy it. I said, no, as long as it's working. The guy said, listen, uh, the Switch, there's, there's nothing wrong with the Switch OLED. It works perfectly. The only thing is a person who sold it to us did not sell it with a charger, uh, an adapter. And I said, no, don't worry, I've got the Switch Lite. And I reminded them that I'd bought it. And I even told him it's the pink one. So, you know, this this the pink one. So they, they he remembered and he said, oh, yeah, you're the one who bought the pink one. And I was like, yes, it's me. So I told him, I said, look, I don't mind. I'll, I, I, I've always wanted the OLED, so let me buy it. And then I bought the OLED. And uh, it, ca it came in a dock. So this is the OLED. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, that's the OLED thingy. I don't know. It's, it's just... It's just gone off. This is the OLED, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen that. That's the OLED. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. Right. So let's play a, a, a few games. I want to see if my... Oh, wow. It, it still remembers what I want to do. <laughs> and you know what? I'm playing this off battery on maximum performance. <laughs> I'm just wondering... How long this is gonna last on the battery? Um, the War Robots works on Steam operating system, so if you want, if you want to have, if you want to play this, and you're saying, well, you need to be on Windows to play War Robots. No, you don't. I can, I can definitely guarantee that War Robots works on Steam operating system because I have two Steam decks. And the other Steam Deck does have War Robots installed. So the reason why I removed it from my, uh, from from this, oh, come on, man, don't get in my way. Oh, uh, okay, it's an enemy. <laughs> I thought it was one of my teammates. So the only reason, the only reason I removed it from, um, the only reason I removed it from, from the black steam deck is because i put i upgraded it to the two terabyte listen it's just gonna be so much easier once i get my micro sd card to come and then obviously once it comes then i will definitely have i will definitely have um what's hitting me i was just wondering someone was hitting me i, I couldn't understand where that was coming from once, uh, okay, it's a, it's a thing, angler. I've got, a, I've got an angler as well. So basically, oh, come on, man. Everybody's just attacking me. Why, why can't I just be left alone? Look at this guy. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> they got me in the end. But you see how many people I got? Uh, I got quite a lot of them. Um, if you're wondering about uh, me um, control mechanism, Let's see. Uh, I forgot this is Windows. It's not going to show uh, what I'm using. But I, I know that I'm using War R on this one. Uh, if, if, yeah, you, the top ones are tab. Um, if this, if, if, I'm, if I'm accurate about this, um, the one that I use, I, it's named, I named it War R. Uh, so the, the top buttons, the smaller buttons are actually you see he's trying to get me with whatever he's got me with come on man come on why can't i aim oh my god right so basically uh yeah someone used a thingy a beam mothership beam on this right so basically what i'm saying oh my god oh my god this guy is hitting me that's a seraph robot i don't like them much wait wait what's that thing what's what what's this thing oh that's a titan right so oh my god oh my god oh my god someone get this guy someone get this guy all right wait wait what is it which which one is my mothership thingy uh <laughs> he's destroying my oh he's got fire that's why oh my god oh my god oh wow he's got fire that's why Okay, so basically, basically, uh, okay, I'm gonna use mouse, guys. Um, the um, the the scheme that I'm using, the layout that I'm using for my oh my god, that's a titan, right? So the layout uh, I'm currently using for the layout that I'm currently using. Oh my god, what's this thing? 
Oh, it's uh, Luchindo. Oh my God. No, 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 no. How did I end up here? Right. Um. So basically, oh come on, man. Everybody's on me. Come on. What? Where's everyone else? Where's everybody else? Why didn't they put voice chat on this thing? I'll be shouting at people. Get to the beacon. Stop. Stop messing around. Um. So basically, um. Oh my God. We're losing. We're losing. We are losing. I wonder if anyone realizes that we're losing. Come on, man. Stop messing about. Oh, my God. We're losing. Oh, no. We've lost. We have lost. Yeah, we've lost. I don't even know why we keep playing. We've lost the game. All right. I'm going to use Angler. Oh, my God. You know, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, we lost the game. Pity. Right. So, guys, what I'm saying is... Um, what I'm saying is uh, with this uh, layout... I know it's called War R. That's W A R and then War uh, R. It's basically it's basically like War Robots, but it's War and then it's R. You know, um, the the right the right joystick is working like a mouse. Um, this one is obviously working as a click. Um, the right uh, I don't know left click or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if if you guys are on a mouse. And you see, if you click, if you see, I'm, I'm pressing down on it, and then I'm able to move the screen up and down. Look, if I press down, I can now move it. You understand? So it's working like a left, uh, right click or left click. I, I don't know, mouse, mouse stuff. Um, so what do I prefer? The, the war robots on Windows on the Steam Deck or the war robots on Steam operating system on Steam? Uh, well, to be honest, I have got Vibrant Deck. I've got some plugins on my Steam Deck, the Black Steam Deck, and I'm able to actually change the the way the game looks. Uh, in terms of, I can make it more colorful. But the problem with that, that I, the problem that I noticed, okay, the one thing I noticed about that was that when I use Vibrant Deck on on the Black, you know, this Black Steam Deck, the one in the background, when I used uh, Vibrant Deck. I noticed that it gave me a headache after a while. I have to be truthful, you know. I have to tell you guys the truth. It gave me a headache after a while. And I just noticed, like, I never get headaches when I play War Robots on Windows. You, you see, the colors are so bland. But when I played this on, um, when I played this on uh, Steam Deck with Vibrant Deck, which is a plugin, and the colors, remember, the colors are more colorful. I just noticed like it's oh my god come on come on I just noticed that I got a headache playing the game and I I never get a headache playing war robots on windows you understand so I I was thinking to myself how come I'm getting a headache oh my god I'm getting destroyed here so I I wondered to myself you understand I'm trying I'm being as truthful as I can to to anybody who's watching the video i had a, a slight not not a not a major headache like you know oh my head's hurting type of thing no i i had a i had a headache and i couldn't understand why and I, all i was doing was playing war robots on the steam deck so i thought to myself you know the first thing that came to my mind was it's vibrant deck it's too bright the screen is too bright it's right in my face yes it looks nice it, the colors are popping but it, it gave me a headache, you know? And um, I thought to myself, no, I, I can't play it with... Um, I put it on 160. Uh, I, had, I had put... I had put... Um, sorry, I had put the... Um, is this guy going to land? I need to destroy him. I had, put, I had put the Vibrant Deck on 160 saturation. I decreased it from 160 to 150. And I noticed a huge improvement that I didn't get a headache anymore. So what I'm saying is, despite the fact that the Steam Deck looked more colorful in games on War Robots, it gave me a headache. And I, I would suggest if you are going to use Vibrant Deck plugin on your Steam Deck, do not put it on 160. It's too, br too bright. What I would suggest you do is put it on 150, and then 150 will not give you a headache. You understand the 150 is a bit better so what i'm saying is my suggestion is if you do use uh plugins on your steam deck 
do not use do not put it up to um thing do not put it up to um 160 it's it's not beneficial for you it may look beautiful it may look different but trust me it's not good for your for your eyes it's gonna give you a headache uh, I didn't. I didn't realize it was it was vibrant deck until I, you know, until I actually figured it out. Because I was like, I've been playing this game for a while, and I thought maybe I was tired. You know, maybe it's just me being cranky or whatever. And then, <laughs> uh, where's F? Where's F? Oh my God, I don't even know where F is. Sorry, uh, it's been a long time since I've played uh, the the Steam Deck with. Um, with the with the actual Steam Deck, I, I normally use the PS5 gamepad. Um, so basically, basically what's what's happened is I I have what's happened is I I noticed that with Vibrant Deck it gave me a headache. Um, do not put your saturation to 160 like I said. Try and put your saturation to. Um, to at least 150 if you use Vibrant Deck. And uh, and then all you've got to do after that is just... Um, all you got to do after that, after you put the saturation to 150, is that your um, it should it should be okay for your eyes. Or it's, I'm just telling you guys, I, it may not affect everyone, but it affected me. So what I'm saying is, I feel like 150 is okay uh, for saturation uh, using Vibrant Deck, which is the um, which is the um, uh, plugin that I used on my Steam Deck. Uh, and I'm just saying this like uh, to protect your eyes, uh, to make sure that you know you don't mess up your man. This guy is just gunning me here. See, he's running away. <laughs> Oh my god, he realizes if he comes alone, I'll destroy him. Okay, let's let's get up there. Right, so basically what, what I'm saying is... Good, we destroy that guy. Let me destroy him. Oh my god. Uh, I want to move in, because I want to avoid that other titan. Oh my god. No, he's destroying me. Yeah, I was destroyed. <laughs> the other Titan was coming. It's, it's like no point. Um, my Titan was already finished. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say, guys, is the saturation was too much for my eyes. It gave me a headache. And I just felt like, you know, I just thought to myself, I would rather play war robots on windows than play it on steam operating system but it's listen it's it's not because steam operating system is bad it's because of the plugin that i had enabled it's it's not good for my eyes but when i did tone it down to 150 saturation i noticed that uh, in terms of playing war robots the game it was actually better so i was like okay so the saturation was too much it was too bright for my eyes that's why i got a headache uh, like I said, it wasn't a serious headache. It was just, you know, you know when, when you, you can actually feel it. You know that, okay, I'm now going to have a headache. Something definitely is going to happen. You know, uh, if, if I keep, if I keep uh, playing this game, I'm definitely going to get a headache. You understand what I mean? So I, I, I'm saying to people, if you're using Vibrant Deck, my suggestion is do not uh, put the saturation above 150. Um, I don't know what games you're playing, obviously, but that's my suggestion. Do not put it above uh, the um, the recommended. I'm recommending 150 for saturation. You click here on if if this was a Steam like a Steam uh, operating system, the thing would have come out on the side. Uh, use your plugins. It's that little thing that looks like a plug. Go to uh, look for Vibrant Deck on this side on the right side, and saturation. Set that to 150. Uh, that will be good for your eyes. If you set it to 160 and you're playing a colorful game like War Robots, uh, it's not going to be good for your eyes. It's going to give you a headache. I, I could feel it. You know, you could feel it. Mm, I'm, I'm not feeling well. You know, it's like, I was like, what's up? What's wrong? I never get headaches playing Windows. 
uh, war, war robot. So <laughs> why now? Uh, that's why I'm saying I, I don't think it's a problem with the Steam Deck or, or with the Steam operating system. It's the saturation was too much. So set your saturation to 150 and you'll be okay.